Oh yeah, you know what time it is. Time for another edition of Guest of My Campus Life video blog. And here's your worst nightmare about this one. So you just have to trust me about that as well. According to TheBlaze.com because you wonder why about Notre Dame try to cover over Christopher Columbus Murrow's try to paint in the inside the 19th century to make leftist what copy you wish you know here's my here's my purpose of this one because yesterday is Martin Luther King's birthday because I'm take that's that's why I take Martin Luther King birthday the King's King Jr.'s birthday off you know you know what I'm saying anyways the president of uh, you guessed it of University of Notre Notre Dame has been announced that you guessed the 19th century murals of Christopher Columbus uh, on his pl you you guessed it try to paint on the plaster walls at the hallowed main campus uh, campus building and it tries to cover it over this mural murals are at at their worst nightmare and it has you know you know towards in in indigenous indigenous people and Columbia's Columbus arrival in the new world was nothing short of a catastrophe for them so here's my purpose in his sunny letter to the campus community Reverend John uh, John I. Jenkins was you guess it I haven't heard you was it that wrote this wrote this thing that he's heard of students alumni and faculty faculty and staff representatives of the Native American community and others on this complete topic oh boy do you have anything else you civilized about how this decision is to make about after this consolation with the university's board of fellows on uh, you know, on a course that will preserve the morals that will uh, morals, but it will not display them regularly in their location. So here's my purpose. You don't want to know. Why is Jenkins? wrote this, wrote this pose of this present location, well, a busy th 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 throughway for visitors and members of the, of the university community is not well suited for thoughtful consider of these paintings, and you know why, because in the paintings and um, you guess the, all the context in their composition. And give me one of the reasons why even now, with a brochure, a brochure um, in hand, so the murals will be covered in, in by woven fra fabric. This is what he and he says. That's what he said. With the covet that the fabric can be removed every now and then for special occasions. But yeah, guess what? Here's the good news. High res image of a uh, Luigi. Gregory, murals will be available to view sometimes, sometimes somewhere down the line, you know, for, yes, eyes not yet woke enough to be completely triggered by it all. Now, Chicken, Chickens wrote this piece, wrote, wrote this, wrote this, this, well, you know, I have no clue whatsoever. So, you know, it happens happens because our goal is, is <laughs> in making this change is to respect both Gregory, Gregory's murals, understood their historical context and the reality and experience of Native, Native in, uh, Native Americans in the aftermath and of uh, Col Columbus arrivals. And wish we we wish to preserve artistic works originally intended to you guess to celebrate immigrant Catholics. Oh wow, what? 
who were marginalizing. Seriously, marginalizing at the time in the society. But in do so, you guessed it, in a way that avoid in intentionally marginalizing others. So, what of the students inside University of Notre Dame says about this one? Well, guess what? Luke Jones, chair, chairman of Young American, Americans for Freedom at Notre Dame, says it wasn't, he wasn't happy. Wasn't happy at all about the announcement. We are calling, here, here it is. We are calling on the University of Notre Dame to act quickly to overturn this decision and probably display the remarkable artwork depicting, depicting you guessed it, Christopher, Christopher Columbus. And that's why he says this in a statement. You know what that means? And adding to this, it's not a political, political issue. Sorry, Charney. Or an issue of, uh, you guess that the R word, according to uh, College Fix, Fix Report, just reported. Uh, you can check it out at the collegefix.com, uh, wherever you can. But here's my observation for you. Observation for you. Jones tried to add to the outlet that the Institute of, you guessed it, higher education, education and students should not be, you guessed it, you guessed it, you guessed it, you guessed it, that's right. Uh, higher, could be a, you, could be, you guessed it, should not be a shield by drapes from this whole idea, they may disagree with the name, you guess, of political correctness. But if the university continues to cater to groups who claim offensive, in one, po one point, will the censorship of on campus stop? Or the uh, next question, next, it's gotta be, will the Vietnam War Memorial Will be next? Well, it could be a good question, but <laughs> somebody's gonna do it. But um, you guessed it, the school's Native American Student, 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 Student Association gave uh, Jenkins kudos to, you guessed it, for his thoughtfulness, thoughtful and wise decision. There could be a lesson, lessons learned about this one. So, um, or in, um, and um, it could be, it could be outrageous. But you know, the more of my campus life video blog story is this: everybody's just wrote on gra graffitis on, um, you see, wrote on gra graffitis and in, inside Creighton campuses and UNO campuses. I have no clue. Whatever. But this is a huge good step to acknowledge what the full hum humanity of those who you guessed that native people who have come before us. And why? Because we because we sincerely hope you guessed it. We sincerely hope uh oh. <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> oh gosh. Uh, you you know what I'm saying. And, um, hmm, well, guess what, uh, and, and you know why, but here it is, uh, but as I said before, because sincerely hope that Father Jenkins and his administration will continue to prioritize Native issues on our campus in the coming weeks and the months. And there is, yes, still work to be done. Well easy for you to say anyways that's my polo that's my campus life video blog story and i'm sticking to it we'll be right back with you guessed it hashtag among choirs only on facebook watch at all scenes commercial work